All right, let's do this. You might be wondering why I'm messing around with liquid nitrogen. It's how the makers of Gore-Tex torture test their toughest materials. Oh, okay, and so... Just go ahead and just give it a Like yank. this? Yep. Maybe take two. <laughs> <laughs> take <laughs> it's beta test, right? It really is. <laughs> You probably think waterproof jackets when you hear the name Gore-Tex, but the same material in those clothes is used in everything from medical devices inside the body to spacesuits. This magic material is called PTFE, or polytetrafluoroethylene. It starts life as a rock, which is ground into a powder and then turned into lots of different forms, like a block or a rod. Essentially what we do with that block or rod is we expand it uh, to create expanded polytetrafluoroethylene fluoroethylene, which you can see here in very different form factors from this very thin material here. Wow, that's incredibly thin. It's like I could put my finger through that. Through, like there that. we go. <laughs> exactly. To something that, you know, would be nearly impossible to put your, your finger through. Yeah, that's tough. And then we can also make it in tube form factors. So by creating all these different form factors with our processing of PTFE and expanded PTFE, we're able to be into a huge breadth of applications uh, here at Gore. Expanded PTFE was actually discovered by accident in 1969 when Bob Gore got really frustrated during an experiment. Here's what happened. All right, let's try and wrap it a little bit and then... Yes! Whoa, whoa, whoa that's crazy! So what you've done is whoa. you've changed the microstructure of PTFE and you've created expanded PTFE from PTFE. So now there's air in there. So we should take the gloves off and you can really feel the difference. The transition is really hot, but if you feel the end, you can see how hard the material is at okay. the very end. It's spongy and soft and squishy, and in here, it's like I couldn't squeeze that if I tried really, really hard. That's amazing. PTFE has a huge temperature range. When it's blended with aerogel, the same material NASA uses on the Mars rover, it can insulate your laptop from heat to keep it performing at its peak. So this is just a demo of, not that there's crayons in your laptop, but an easy way to show the performance of this thin, flexible material. So if you go ahead and turn on the hot plate, it's just this dial right there. Yeah, all right. And rotate it around. Uh, and we can look in on the crayons as the plate heats up. You'll start to see the one crayon uh, that doesn't have the insulation just melting into the hot plate after a little while. Um, and on the other side, we'll have the crayon on top of this insulation that, that doesn't change. It's crazy, it's melting so fast, and the one with the material underneath is totally fine. There's no evidence that it's melting at all. Oh! Uh, we, have, we have one down. So if you want, we can turn off the hot plate. Yeah. You can lift up that other crayon, and you'll see it just at the end there started to melt a little bit. Just a little bit. And you'll see that's still uh, still flexible. Still it's still attacked. flexible. It's actually not that hot underneath the direct surface that it was in contact with on the hot plate. It's, it's warm, but it's nowhere near hot. Now it's time to take PTFE Sub-Zero. This is a cryogen bag used to protect drugs from temperature changes during transit. We're going to compare it to a regular freezer bag. So I'm going to dip it in here. Oh, yep, you can, oh it's sizzling. So you want to get that yeah, dunk in there dive. so it gets really nice and Woo! cold. Woo! Splashes. <laughs> Splashes everywhere. It'll be really brittle and hard, so just give a, a hard tug on it. Oh! I did it! It flew, right. came apart. <laughs> it totally fell apart. It was just like it splintered completely. Yeah. So that's one of the trade-offs with normal polymers is you can either have them have good properties at room yeah. temperature or at cold temperature. Now I'm going to try and break the cryo bag. Don't try this at home or do with the right equipment, I guess. So I can hear it actually being more crunchy and it feels a little bit more crunchy and it definitely sounds it, but... <laughs> You're right, it's not breaking. It's not shifting. If anything, my hands are colder than the plastic right now. <laughs> so now we come to the intimidating physical challenge part of the episode. What is going on here and why is there only a tiny bit of plastic and very, very thin material that's going to hold me all up in this? <laughs> so believe it or not, this piece of plastic that's there um, is rated to over 500 pounds. 500 pounds? Really? Yes. All right, so, so I am going to suspend myself from this bar and it's going to hold my weight. That's right. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of too tall to do a pull-up because I'm kind of crouching here, but all right, let's see. There we go. Whoa! 
I have like no weight in my feet at all. This is crazy. Wow, the most vulnerable part of this is me. But I haven't tested the core of what Gore-Tex is really known for, waterproofing. I'm wearing Gore-Tex head to toe, even with Gore-Tex Converse, to see if it actually keeps me dry. Um, yeah, like fashion forward, 100%, so stylish. But the idea is I'm gonna get sprayed with a hose. Um, I don't know why I signed up for this, and I'm gonna be totally dry. We'll see how well this holds up. Okay, the ultimate test, super fashionable. I am head to toe in Gore-Tex gear. Now the difference between this jacket and other Gore-Tex jackets is that that EPTFE material and membrane is actually on the outside of the jacket rather than in between the flexible fabrics on other Gore-Tex jackets. All right, so let's see if this actually holds true and it's waterproof because I have an expensive microphone underneath here and I don't want to have to pay to replace it. So Linda, take it away. Okay, this is just cruel now. This is just to spray me with water. All right. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's enough. Okay, so I'm gonna shake it off and I'm dry. Can you still hear me? Is the microphone still working? I, I think we're fine. I, I feel cold, but I'm not wet. There you go. It's totally waterproof. Thanks for watching Beta Test. I hope you liked this episode. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. <laughs>